what's going on guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel today we are going to be making a video about my eastern diamondback rattlesnake this is mr shaky guys it's uh what my wife likes to call him because he rattles a whole lot but he's definitely calmed down over the past couple months and he is the crotalus adamantius and this is a venomous snake native to a lot of the southeastern u.s and this pit viper is the largest venomous snake in north america typically ranging between three and six feet in length and some individuals can exceed over seven feet long so they can get seven eight some people even say they get bigger than that from what i hear from the comments and things like that so they have a distinctive pattern and diamond shaped marking is going down his back hence the name eastern diamondback rattlesnake or edr for short what i like to use for a lot of my videos as well i also got an awesome map here on the left side of the screen here so make sure you guys check out that for the range map so you can see exactly where this snake is located so the eastern diamondback rattlesnake is as i mentioned in southeastern u.s including parts of florida georgia alabama mississippi louisiana and the carolinas and it inhabits a variety of ecosystems including pine forests swamps marshes and coastal dunes typically they're more active at night they're nocturnal but they also may be active during the day more diurnal and cooler weather and these snakes are usually solitary and do not form groups but they do form cohesive relationships with other animals like the but they do form relationships symbiotic relationships with animals like the gopher tortoise and they live in their burrows with them together along with other timber rattlesnakes have been witnessed with that with copperheads and other snakes as well they like to hide in dens especially during the winter time and they use this relationship because they help protect the turtles and things from incoming predators as as much as they dig the holes for them to live in so you can tell this guy's kind of ready so i might not want to keep messing around with him too long we're going to get started with the feeding of the eastern diamondback rattlesnake you know I don't know what happened when that last mouse we were trying to feed to my freaking water moxin up, but he started screaming and all kind of stuff. But I dropped him, I had to run across the whole house trying to catch him, dude. It was freaking wild. So I don't know. Should we just drop it in here right in front of him? I think what we'll do is just plop him in and hope for the best. He missed. Oh, good God, we got him that time. Whew. It took a little while and he just turned around and he lit him on up. Good God, that's what I like to see, man. It's all about the snake interaction, man. Making sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing as their natural feeding response as they would in the wild, man. Because I like feeding them like the frozen thaw, and you know, as long as I know they're eating, that's the main thing. But I want them to strike, envenomate, search for your food, eat it. You know?
I don't know how much venom he pumped into that mouse though. Cause he sure hit him with the sauce. That mouse is over here. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna go hide in the corner. Not today, sir. You ain't gonna be doing none of that. Ain't no hiding in the corner. Not at Hoseway's Exotics, it ain't. You gonna go back over here with Mr. Shaky. Unfortunately, sir. Mr. Shaky ain't finna work super duper hard. I mean, I want him to eat it, but I also want to do this in a timely manner because, man, sometimes it be taking hours. Hours to get these snakes to eat. And even just to make one little video, you know what I mean? I do enjoy making the videos, but I also want to make it easier on the snakes and easier on me. And then I can also make more videos, making it more time efficient, but still providing the same quality content. So let me try to move our little mouse around just a tad bit more to the time lasted from here. And also make sure you guys check out those links down in the description. I always got some awesome stuff in there and we'll be enjoying our snake here eating momentarily.